you think Izzy Beagles look good? Hmm? You're right, I think it's missing something. I know what it needs. Okay. There. Well, hello, my YouTube peeps. I am John Can. We're getting close to Christmas. We got the tree up. Festive stuff on the walls behind me there. Christmas lights and stuff. A couple lazy dogs there. Fire burning. All that happy December -y kind of stuff. Uh, but I feel like my tree's missing something this year. It could really use, you know, something special to commemorate how awesome 2020 has been. So we're gonna sit down um, and make a custom ornament using the CNC laser machine that I have, the uh, 3018 Pro that I bought off of the Scene Smart website. Um, we've got the computer up and running, so we're gonna fire up the light burn software and get to making that. Okay, so we've got our light burn software and we are going to open our file. And we are looking for. There we go. TP ornament. So this is a uh, an ornament that I have created using the Lightburn software. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail about Lightburn software because honestly they have a ton of great tutorials on their website um, as far as how to use it. The one thing I'm gonna show you real quick, um, we're gonna modify this just a little bit to fit the piece of wood that I'm gonna be using. Um, but I'm gonna go over some of the laser settings that I use and show you what we've got. So we're gonna go into cuts and we've got a couple different cuts here, depending on what we're looking to do. But the question I've been asked is, um, what settings am I using to get through, to cut through wood? And the settings I'm using are these ones here. I'm gonna zoom in on these here, but um, running the power at 95% for this little laser. Remember, it's a 5.5 watt output. So not a very high output laser compared to something like a CO2 laser, these little diodes um, are pretty well maxed out at this output. Um, but the important thing is, is that the speed is set to five, which is going to give us a quick enough travel to not just char the wood um, at 95% output. And then we're going to make eight passes. We're going to have to make a lot of passes to get through this. These lasers aren't going to cut through like oak um, or anything substantial. All I'm using is eighth inch pine plywood, something that's you know, really lightweight, but it will cut through them and you can get a pretty clean cut. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Since we've already got this built, we're going to go ahead and load up the machine and get it cutting. Okay, so we've got our laser set up here. We're going to go ahead and get the piece of wood set into place. So this is what we're going to be cutting on. Just a eighth inch piece of pine plywood. Um, you can get this kind of stuff at a hobby store pretty, pretty reasonably priced. Um, I've also found that if you go to like hardware stores or places that get a lot of stuff shipped to them, but sometimes they'll get crates that have this stuff and you can just, you know, get it for free that way, which works out really nice. Um, and this piece isn't gonna fit totally flush, so we're gonna have to go ahead and strap it down. Which is always a good idea anyway. Okay, we've got that locked into place. Make sure that our indexing is good on our project here. So we'll go ahead and run the uh, move function. Okay, so there's our dot to figure out where the center of our project is. I am experimenting with um, air assist on this little thing, just for the fun of it. I don't think it's actually gonna do much good, but I'm trying it anyway because it's a thing to do. So we've got our project set in there correctly with a piece of wood, you're ready to go, let's start on the laser.
All right, the machine is finished running. So what we got here. Nice. Clean cuts. Yeah, looks good. Okay. So our next step is to take these guys out to the shop, glue them together and paint them. Here we go. Okay, we're out in the shop. Got these guys sitting here. And uh, all I'm gonna do is glue them together. A little bit of Gorilla Glue. Put you guys up here so you can watch while I make a mess. And get in your home. There we go, okay. Good, yep, there we go, okay. And zoom in a little bit. Go, camera, go. You can do it, zoom, zoom. Okay, a little bit of glue. Goes a long ways with this stuff. I like the Squirrel glue because it is pretty stout stuff. Drop some of it on there like that. The main thing that I'm looking to do Spread it out towards the edges. Like so. Gonna throw our top piece on here. And make sure that it is lined up. Wanna make sure that the whole, the ornament is lined up nicely. Everything looks pretty. Now like that. Gonna clamp it. Okay, got this thing glued. It needs to sit for about half an hour and I can start to paint it. Uh, standing here watching the glue dry for half an hour sounds like it'd be really boring, so I'm gonna go find something else to do. Uh, and you guys get to time travel, so that's pretty cool. Ready, go! Okay, it has been about a half an hour, maybe a little bit more than half an hour. I'm gonna check this thing out. Like it is good to go. It's dried and everything, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna take this over. Start doing some painting here. Okay, so got just a little bit of this uh, spray paint. This doesn't, you know, this isn't gonna go outside, so it doesn't need to be sealed up with anything particular. We're just looking to color it. Um, gonna start on the back. And the important thing to note is that this will work on your wood, boys and girls. Yes, very important. Oh, crack that open. Ah, oh, I don't have a tip. It's done been stolen. Let's see if I can find one real quick. Okay, I'm back. Now we've got a tip on our white paint. It's, you know, a little messy, but it's fine. So, I'm just gonna give this a quick shot of paint. About like that. See, it's white. That's all we're looking for. So now we've got to let this dry half an hour, 45 minutes, and then I can turn it over because um, the paint will have, you know, set up well enough at that point. So, see you in about half an hour. Okay, we're back. It's been about half an hour. Paint should be dry over there, but real quick, I want to show you guys a couple other things that I worked on with the uh, laser there. Got some uh, keychains. These are prototypes for some earrings. Some of this stuff is, you know, pretty finely cut. Focus. Do the focusing. Why do you hate me so much camera? Come on. There we go. Little stars in there and stuff. America. Yeah. So yeah, laser machine has been pretty awesome to use. Let's go over here and check out our TP ornament. This is pretty good to go. Flip that thing over there and get our paint. Shake it, 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 and ready to go. So the trick with this is that where we've engraved the lettering and stuff, the charcoal or burn part or whatever will kind of, you know, not get covered up with the paint as well. Kind of absorbs it and stays black. But you still have to be kind of light with your paint so that you don't just cover it all up. About like that. And then because festive, we've got some gold glitter in a salt shaker. And we're just gonna 
sprinkle this bad boy with some glitter, which the paint should make the glitter stick. And there we go. And this needs to sit out here all night. So hopefully I can find some sort of a time lapse or something to put in for you guys. Something cool to watch that's not just, you know, paint drying because that's like watching glue dry. Very boring. We don't want that. Here we go. Are you a pretty Christmas beagle? Yes, you are. You got a pretty little dress, huh? What? Are you going to yell at me now? Oh, my God. Oh, you're a crazy Christmas beagle, huh? What is that? What are you doing? No. Ah, what are you doing? Oh. Well, it's tomorrow. I'm not sure which tomorrow, but it's uh, tomorrow. And uh, our ornament is dry. You can see the glitter on there. Ooh, sparkly. Yeah, nice. And we've got a piece of ribbon that I tied on there. That way it can be hung in the tree. So let's go inside and throw it up on the Christmas tree and see how it looks. Okay, I'm back in the house. You're gonna put this up on the tree here. So let's see, you have it right there. Stay. Nice, that looks good. Hopefully you guys can see the glitter. I don't know, sometimes that stuff doesn't come through the camera very well, but um, just kind of ignore this guy over here. I'm sure that's a copyright thing, but anyway, yeah, looks good. And uh, so I know that there are a lot of people who will probably find this video um, because they're looking for information on these little 3018 machines. I highly recommend it. Um, it's been great for me. The machine has paid for itself three times over at this point just by me making little stuff like these ornaments and selling them on my own. Um, I use the laser a ton. That's I'm, I'm saving up to buy a dedicated laser of some sort and then I'll turn this one back into a CNC router and play with that more. Um, but it's been a great machine. I've ran it a lot and it's been reliable. So hopefully that helps you um, with your questions on that stuff. But anyway, I hope that everybody is well and, and staying healthy. Uh, please take a second to like, share, and subscribe. You know, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.